Hello, my name is Chris Garrett and I work at TD Curran. I wanted to go over a quick introduction of Pages. Pages is on both OS X and iOS operating systems. Pages is the Apple version of Microsoft Word. I'm going to open this right now. One of the things you'll notice is it's a little confusing at first. It opens up everything that's on your desktop or documents, but you're like, where's the word? How do I get into word processing? You gotta click on new document, or if you have one that's saved in a certain location, you can select it here and then click open. So we're gonna go new document. Here you're gonna see all the templates. They have a blank, normal, they have a landscape, note taking, which is just going to be formatted for taking quick notes. And then you have reports, letters, like letterheads and stuff like that. Resumes, envelopes for mailing, business cards if you want to make them, flyers. But for this little tutorial, we're going to talk about the blank. So you just click choose there. And as you can see, it's very similar to Word but it's slightly different. In this version, in, in pages, you have everything here on the, on the right hand side instead of up at the top. So we have style, which covers your fonts. So you can change this to any normal font that's used. So I'm gonna use a courier font. And then you have, you know, regular, italic, bold, bold, italic. You have your font size that you can change. Bold, italicized, underline. What color this is going to be. Like if you want a purple or red writing. Character styles. It's just basically the same as like all those kind of things. So you can create a link make an emphasis which is basically just bold then you have your alignments which is align left center align right justified you know increase your indent level decrease your indent level and you know spacing double space all that stuff so layout is more about like columns indents tabs and borders and rules it's not really what most people focus on so we're just going to focus today on just style. And one of the things you'll notice as I start typing here looks just like Word. Everything just works. You know. And then you have up here, you can create a table. So if you want to do like, you know, a document with tables and charts, you can do that. You have interactive charts, you have 3D charts, you have 2D charts. Text is more of like a text area. So if you have like a picture and you want to do something underneath, underline that uh, describes what the picture is, that's what the text box is for. So, and then shape, you can create all sorts of shapes here. Word bubbles, you know. This one is pretty pretty familiar to people who make labels, so it looks like a label. And then you have, you know, you can choose media, music, if you want to add that to your document, movies, so that people, you know, interactivity in your in your documents. This is to insert page numbers, and this will keep it italicized so you never have to add it again. So if I say one and I just go to the next page, it'll say two. So, and then you have comments, tips, share. A lot of times people get, you know, when they get into pages for the first time, they're like, it's great and everything, but everybody I know uses Word. How do I save my document as a Word doc? Well. Bad news is you can't, but the good news is you can export it as a Word doc. Go down here, you can either export it as PDF, and there's Word. 
all you have to do is write out your document as you would. You can save it as a pages file and then you can export it as a Word doc. And that way everybody that uses Word that you know has access to this that you send it to without having to download pages or have to buy a Mac. Like I said, it's on the OS 10. It's been at, it's been updated and you have access to the iPhone and you also have access to it on your iPad. So this is part of the continuity issue, which we're not going to get into today, but basically you can start a document on your computer, transfer it to your iPad, continue working on it, and then back to your computer. It's a really neat idea and I really like it. So I hope you check it out. Pages is a free document that comes with the operating system of your Mac your and your iOS devices.